Super Mario World Blind Kaiser Race by Patrick. GH3. Welcome to week five. This week's level has seven segments. Good luck, have fun. Huh. Apparently these really old ones don't attach for some reason. I wonder if the base ROM used to have a different name. It's not an uncommon issue. I think I needed that Eerie to make that work. Working? It's working. Okay, cool. Wait. Yeah, I can do that faster. Realize you never finished Kaizo Kindergarten. Oh, those are also death? Uh, never finished Kaizo Kindergarten Special Worlds. You're working on that? I did the Yoshi Springboard clip. I've done that on accident so many times, and it never ceases to be annoying. What do I actually need this thing for? Well... We're sending our love down the well. Um... Now we wait. Have you ever done an accident? These things happen. At least I think that's one I've done on accident a few times. It's kind of fascinating to see just how much Rum Hack Races stuff has changed. In fact, it'd be kind of cool if they wanted to do like an anniversary race where it's just like, we're going to have people run through the, like, first 10 of them, first 15, first 20, like, quite literally make it like a timed race, where it's the, the, the goal is to get through as many of the old ROM hack races levels as possible. Furthest person wins. Oh, okay. I think it'd be cool. But of course, you could be like, you'd have to tell people, like, please don't actually, like, practice this, because that kind of defeats the spirit of things. But most people have a setup where they can just put all of the hacks on a, their thing at uh, runtime. So it makes it a bit harder. What are we looking at here? I need to be embiggened. Oh. Right, I understand. I don't understand? Oh, I need to get back. Okay, I see this. It's, it's there and back again. As many sort levels by shortest completion time. I meant in order. So, like, start at one. Maybe let people pick an arbitrary starting location. Watch Return to Oz earlier? How was that? I've never actually read the Oz books. I, I mean, I know that the whole thing continues on quite a bit. The closest I've been is I listened to the audiobooks for both Alice and the, the Alice Through the Looking Glass. A lot of fun claymation. I do love some good claymation. One of the things I saw at the Adventure Game Con was Fog Town, which is an adventure game that's done in the medium of puppets. I think I needed to hit that so that it could jump again. Mr. Starp, I guess it starts an insane asylum. Oh my. I'm definitely running late there. Four. What was I supposed to do? Oh, there it goes. Oh, didn't proc him. Uh, there's no way to bring him back, so this is toast. Yeah, claymation is cool. That's it. Or other weird types of animation. There's one, it's one of those things where, like, I looked up what it is, but I always forget what it is. It's a movie, a British movie, and I thought that it was, like, animated in an old school, but it turned out to be using, like, multiple layers 
like paper dolls. It was something very inexplicable. <laughs> oh good, you reached the prostate exam. That's not a statement most people ever make. It does remind me that there was a, uh... Oh, in Kaizo Kindergarten. Oh, good. Someone had brought this really silly one-off arcade machine to one of the Tacoma Game Shows. It was the Simpsons Proctology Party. And it was just... a puppet ass, pretty much. But yeah, they played a little clip from The Simpsons about proctology, and then it uh, goes and demonstrates what's going on. It, it was one of those things that doesn't need to exist. But I don't mind that it does. Which is kind of weird. Level's pretty chill? Yeah, I think an awful lot of the, like, very old Romhack Races levels... Like, things have just changed so much in the last, you know, six and change years. I suspect I need that shell. I suspect I need that mushroom. Yeah, skill levels have just gotten higher and higher. And so, like, they don't do as many chill levels. I don't think there's that many people just lining up to make easy levels anymore. Or easier levels anymore. Oh, I need to get the shell and kick it there. Okay, cool. See, knowledge. Always go forward to get knowledge. Unfortunately, that no longer serves my purposes here. Tried to make an easy level, but it was kind of hard. The process or the level? Ah. The level? Ah. Oh, wait! Oh, I forgot what I was doing. Not rated to five, but you're in closer to three. Yeah, they don't make many threes or even, like, twos. I think there's only, like, one or two twos. And one of them was a uh, Dr. Nose level. Which was actually pretty fun. The ditch switch. Don't know if Dr. No made more. Also, do know that the good doctors changed their name recently. But I still am having trouble remembering the new one. Oops All Fortresses could have been a two or even a one. I think you're right. I did play Oops All Fortresses a while ago. Dang it. Are jumping Kaizo Maker and your Kaizo and Mario Maker? Now you're doing Lunar Magic, making a couple of upcoming hacks, been procrastinating so much though. And you have to work too, yep. Literally one jump for most rooms, easier than standard normal. Only the name change thread was still available. Ah, uh, yeah. More of just a practice thing. It was very convenient when a friend of mine uh, came out trans. We asked, asked if we had any questions, and me and the DM both immediately shot our hands up. And our question, the same question is, yeah, can we still call you by nickname? And, yeah. They were like, yeah, no, that's fine. <laughs> Made it a lot easier. And we use the new name a lot more often, but the thing is, we never actually called them by their original name. <laughs> One of those, I'd have to actually put effort into dead naming somebody because I didn't even remember the name to begin with. There we go. I think it was a week, like two before. I think the week before it was a two and it was like a three. Like, they had a 10 and the harder level was rated an 8 the week before. <laughs> nope. Speaking of work, gotta get going. Just stay a little longer. Enjoy the racing and it's late for it. Ah, oh, thanks. Hope work goes well. See you later, Bunnyberry. Or Blueberry Bunny. Yeah. Very alliterative. Those remind me of another alliterative thing, though less good. <laughs> Called up my dad to talk with him on uh, on Sunday, 
Because I'd heard through the grapevine that uh, he'd gone on a cruise and gotten COVID and I wanted to see if he's doing well. And plus it was a nice day for a call. We ended up talking about his time in Japan in the 70s, being a Mormon missionary and all. And one of my questions was, because Mormon missionaries, at least they used to, get uh, food by, you know, visiting people's houses. You would, uh, you'd feed them. You'd feed the missionaries, they'd talk to you about religion, blah, 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 blah. And I was curious if that was the thing in Japan. The answer is no. And so they pretty much only ever fed themselves or occasionally would go out to eat. Very rarely go out to eat. He was telling me about uh, Japanese curry that uh, him and his companion, that they would make, which included things such as, uh, like the standard curry roux, and then would put in apples and bananas and then other normal curry things as a sweet curry. And it just sounds bad. Like, chicken and bananas do not mix. Um, but part of the reason we were talking about, uh, end up talking about the tradition of curry and the re one of the reasons why it was common in Japan and the route it came to Japan was through the British military, sir. Through the British military. The problem Japan was having was that their sailors weren't getting enough uh, nutrients. They were missing out on some important things like, I think, folic acids and whatnot. Because they would join them, they, you'd get like these people who are out in the middle of like, rural people join up because they could eat, get as much rice as they could eat, uh, and then they wouldn't, they would get, uh, get this disease called Buri Buri, which is some sort of uh, mid mineral vitamin deficiency. And so the curry has just enough of the things you need to uh, prevent that kind of thing, was the idea. A little bit of flour or whatever. Anyway, the more you know. Dang. There we go. say you don't get too many like left facing rooms that work very well because travel the game doesn't want you to travel to the left it's a rightward game damn it what i should remember is it's not actually an auto scroller so i can't kind of outrun the block if i want to there we go oh that was fun I know I've played that one before, forever ago, but it's a nice little blast from the past. Oh, Yatta! Playtesters! Allrounder, Risen Dead, Atari, BK, Chris G, Algy, Decula, Dode, Dylan of Insanity. Music, Infinite Dungeon, ported by Gift Shaven. Thanks to everyone who makes ROM hack races happen. This is the more traditional credits for Rum Hack Races. That's what I usually expect. Alright. Well, that was fun. Nice to do a little bit of Kaizo snackery every once in a while. <laughs>